In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the center and the radius of the circle given the equation shown below. So the first thing you need to be familiar with is the standard form for the equation of a circle. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now the center of the circle can be found by this equation. All you need to do is identify the values of h and k. And the radius of the circle is simply r. So what's h and what's k in this problem? h is the number in front of x without the negative sign. So if you see a minus 3 here, reverse it. h is equal to positive 3. k is the number next to y. So we have y minus 4. We're going to switch negative 4 to positive 4. So k is 4. Thus, the center of the circle is 3, 4. So that's how you can find the center of a circle if you're given the equation in standard form. Now, to determine the radius, we need to focus on this number. This is the same as r squared. So if r squared is equal to 25, what is the value of r? Taking the square root of both sides, we can get the answer. The square root of 25 is 5. So that is the radius of the circle. So that's how you can find the center and the radius of the circle given the standard equation. Now let's work on another example. So let's say we have x plus 2 squared and then plus y minus 4 squared. And let's say all of that is equal. Actually, let's make this y minus 5 squared. And this is all going to be equal to 49. So feel free to pause the video and identify the coordinates of the center of the circle and also the radius. So let's calculate h and k. So we see a plus 2 next to x. So we're going to reverse it and make it minus 2. There's a minus 5 in front of y. So we're going to change it from minus 5 to positive 5. So the center of this circle is going to be negative 2, positive 5. So it's very straightforward to find the center of, of a circle. Now let's calculate the radius. r squared is equal to 49. Taking the square root of 49, we get that the radius of the circle is 7. So that's all you need to do in order to calculate the coordinates of the center of the circle and the radius as well. Now you might be wondering, these problems can't be that easy. And you're right, there are difficult versions of this topic, like the problem that we're about to go over. Because sometimes you may not always get the equation of a circle in standard form. Sometimes you'll see it like this. And if you do, what do you need to do in order to find the center of the circle and the radius as well? If you get a problem like this, what you need to do is you need to put it in standard form. So here's what you need to do. First, bring the x variables together. I'm going to leave a space here and then bring the y variables together. And then leave a space. Now the negative 11, I'm going to move to the other side. It's going to change from negative 11 to positive 11. Now what we need to do at this point is something called complete the square. To do that, we're going to take half of 8, which is 4, and then we're going to square it. Don't worry about the negative sign during that process. Half of 6 is 3, so we're going to add 3 squared. Now whatever you add to the left side of the equation, you must also add to the right side of the equation so that the value on both sides remain the same. So we've added 4 squared to the left. We need to do that on the right side. And we added 3 squared on the left, so we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Now we need to factor this expression. And here's a shortcut method that will help us to do that. So whatever variable we see here, we're going to write it. And then whatever sign we see in front of the middle term, we're going to put it here. 
and then it's going to be plus, I mean, then we're going to write 4, and then squared. So x squared minus 8x plus 16 can be factored as x minus 4 times x minus 4. This is what is known as a perfect square trinomial. Now let's do the same thing for the next trinomial. So whatever variable we see here, we're just going to rewrite it. And then whatever sign we see for the middle term, we're going to write it here. And then plus 3 squared. So y squared plus 6y plus 9 can be factored as y plus 3 times y plus 3. 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9. So the last thing we need to do is combine the numbers on the right side. 11 plus 9 is 20, and 20 plus 16 is 36. So now we have the equation in standard form. So h is positive 4, k is negative 3. So the center is going to be 4, negative 3. Now, r squared is 36, and the square root of 36 is 6, so that's going to be the radius of the circle. So now you know how to identify the center of the circle and the radius of the circle, given the equation of the circle.